32 year old Sudarshan Watkar was nearing desperation a couple of years ago but one decision has helped things come up roses or jarbera flowers if you want to go literal a marginal farmer in Padoli village in Usmanabad district Sudarshan gave up working as a farm laborer 2 years ago to join the Lok Kalyan group a collective of 12 young farmers who grow jarbera flowers or african daisies Today Sudarshan owns 1 acre of land dedicated to these flowers and earns over 50000 rupees a month. Main akela to kabhi bhi nahi aata main group bana isliye mere ko idhar mauka mila. Akela to main tha hi 2007 se 2014 tak kaam hi karta tha dusre ke polyos mein. Tab to nahi mauka mila. This farmer group success has transformed Usmanabad district into a hub for jarbera plantation and the flowers are sent to markets in far away cities like Hyderabad, Delhi and even Sri Lanka. There are 68 such poly houses for jarbera flower in this one taluka of Usmanabad in this district and it produces about 150000 such flowers on a daily basis. Government aid has also helped under the National Horticulture Mission the government provides farmers with a 50% subsidy to set up flower poly houses like this one and since jarberas do not need much water to thrive a small pond like this is enough to service the poly house. The farmers group approach has also aided in securing loans and giving the producers pricing power. Se 10 12 log ko loan pass kar diya bank ne to usi mein mere ko ye mauka mila. Group group rehne se kya hota hai jo bhi purchasing karenge hum log jo raw material hai usme hamare ko thoda sasta girta hai aur market mein bhi pressure rehta hai ki ek quantity mein phool ek gaon se aa rahe bole to vyapari log bhi thoda humse ye karte hain. Jarberas fetch anywhere between 1 and 15 rupees per flower depending on demand. Last year, the farmers group turned a profit of 50 lakh rupees and the idea is catching on. The district now has 14620 registered groups made up of 2 lakh 88000 farmers. They produce and sell a wide variety of crops from tomatoes to grapes. Last year our per capita income was 70000. Okay. So our per capita income increase from 53000 to 70000 hmm. because we do not have any other source of livelihood hmm. other than agriculture hmm. this uh, growth is purely a uh, agricultural growth the next step corporatization 35 farmer producer companies which are limited companies are established farmer could not have ever imagined that they could become director or chairman of any private limited companies hmm. but now they are we are the agro producers in sarola village is one such example It began when 10 farmers got together and took on a loan of 1 lakh rupees each to invest in mechanized farming. Today, VRD Agro has 250 farmer members as shareholders and has even expanded into seed manufacture. The success of group farming in Usmanabad has caught the fancy of administration and the state government now wants to take this model to other water-starved regions. With camera person Swapnil Bandekar, this is Achna Shukla in Usmanabad district. Well, that's that's uh, one positive.